Hi everybody, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Erez Yaffe, co-founder of Shtick Media. We're an advertising company focusing on the Israeli and US markets. We have been using Reels for the past year and a half for our clients in many verticals, from e-commerce to NGOs, from travel to beauty and more. Now, I've started my way in digital marketing in 2006, specifically with Facebook in 2007, and in those years, I've managed tens of millions of, of dollars for my clients. Now, I remember back in 2006, I was marketing on MySpace. Does anybody here remember MySpace? Yeah. Raise your hand if you do. Okay, yeah, these are the old guys here. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so, so, I remember it, it was a social uh, network around music, and it was a super colorful one. It held all those animated GIFs and banners, and it was flashy. So, in 2007, when Facebook started to grow in Israel, I remember thinking to myself, what is this white and blue thing? Nobody is going to like this. This is going to fail for sure. Well, apparently, I was just a little bit wrong, and, <laughs> and Facebook became the biggest social network on Earth, Meta, today. And it did so because it always kept changing. It always kept evolving. Anybody who has been with Facebook or Meta for several years know, the, know that it always changes. So today I want to talk to you about one of its latest and, most, and the coolest evolvements, the Awareness Monster Reels. So what is Facebook Reels? Facebook Reels are short-form vertical videos that can go up to 90 seconds, and they are a great way to share your creativity reach new audiences, and communicate with your existing ones. Let's watch a short example. What is so special about Reels from my point of view? Reels are the most discoverable form of content on Meta today. You can find them in about a gazillion places. Let's have a look at a few. For instance, on Instagram, you will see Reels on the Explore tab. You will have them on your Home tab, on the feed. You have a special dedicated tab for Reels. And on each and every profile, you have a section for Reels. Now on Facebook, you will bump into them in Facebook Watch. You will have them on your feed. You have a special tab for Reels, and there is a Reels section and a video section in each and every profile. So with all those places we meet, Reels, there's no wonder people in Instagram and Facebook spend over 30% of their time on Reels. But what is the difference between Reels and Stories? Let's look at a few key differences. First, length. While Stories can go up to 60 seconds, uh, by the way, if you have still 15 uh, seconds Stories, don't worry, it's in a rollout, you will have it soon. Reels can go up to 90 seconds. While organic stories are available for 24 hours, reels last a lifetime. Visibility. Um, stories are located at the top of the feed, but reels, like we've just saw, saw, are everywhere. And one of the most important differences, the audiences. Stories are a great way to interact with your existing audience and communicate with it. But Reels, they are the awareness monster. They reach new audiences, they get you great exposure. So, now that we understand the key differences between uh, stories and Reels, let's dive into a couple of case studies. So, Inokim. Anybody here in the crowd know Inokim? Raise your hand. Nice. So, Inokim is a um, high-end e-scooter brand that operates in the European and US markets, and in Israel, of course. Um, we like calling them the Tesla of e-scooters because they really have a top-of-the-notch product, and you'll see soon. Now, in this special, in this uh, uh, case, Inokim wanted to raise awareness in selected cities in the US. Knowing that video is the best way to generate awareness, they created videos in different ratios, so we will we'll be able to optimize for each and every placement. Now, let, let's take a look at the videos and then discuss the results. All right. If you're looking for a super duper epic scooter, 
then the InnoTube OX is the perfect scooter for you. I'm proud to say that according to online reviews around the world, the InnoKeem OX is the best scooter on earth. And let me explain why. The InnoKeem OX has two rubber suspensions, which gives you the most comfortable and most enjoyable riding experience. The design and aesthetics of this scooter gives you a smoother and a safer ride. With a whopping... All right, and another example. ...things I love about the InnoKeem Lite. Number one, portability. The InnoKeem Lite is only 28 pounds. It's perfect for taking on the train, going upstairs, going downstairs. <coughs> Number two, boating mechanism. <coughs> Easiest. One, two, three. Done. Number three, 21 miles per hour max speed. Woo! Number four, the range. The InnoKeem Lite can go up to 25 miles with one shot. And number five, customizable colors. Right, so before we move to the results, I want you to notice to a few key principles. First of all, the hook. Five things I like about da da da. This catches your attention. I, by the way, I encourage you to use this prompt, five things about, I love about whatever product you're selling. It's, it's working uh, really, really well. Second, it had subtitles. Um, for the 20% that watch reels without sound or with volume off, to cut through the silence. Uh, third, it had the snappy rhythm. It was like, bam, 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 bam. It's always interesting. And fourth, it was made with iPhone or smartphone. This is not a super expensive production, meaning anybody can do it. So, with real ads, we had 33% lower cost per ad recall leaf comparing to the campaign average. We got 38% higher CTR. And the best part, 324% 324% higher ROAS for real ads comparing to the uh, campaign average. Really amazing results. So let's look at another case study. Jack Cuba. Jack Cuba is a um, luxury lingerie uh, retailer in Israel with dozens of stores in Israel. Now, Jack Ribo is one of the biggest names around here um, for years and years, and the reason for it, for, for it is first, they have a really quality product, great product, and second, they have a super aggressive brand awareness strategy. I mean, those guys really like to get as many eyeballs as possible, and I've learned a lot from them. So. On last January, uh, Jack Cuba had their winter sale. They uh, generated vertical videos showcasing the collection items and highlighting the sale. We later then promoted those videos on both stories and reels. So let's have a look at the videos and then discuss the results. <coughs> Right, so this was from the beginning of the campaign with 40% off, and the next one is from the end of the campaign, from the final sale with 50% off. Right, so this one is an expensive production. It was not made with iPhone, but you can notice a few key principles uh, that work here as well. So first of all, the rhythm. It is snappy, it's, it's changing, it's moving all the time. Second, it's both uh, like the other case study we saw, it's product focused. You know, sometimes we get very creative, but we forget to put the product in the middle. So both case studies are very much product focused. It has subtitles to get the message through, 40% off, 50% off. And yeah, they both worked really well, both the expensive production and the iPhone production. So results. With Reels uh, ads, we had 47% lower cost per 1,000 people reached, which is amazing when you want to get as many eyeballs as possible. And, the, and, and another amazing part, 
we had 63% lower cost per post engagement. Now, is there anybody here, I'm sure there is, using the ARR strategy or the full fire, Facebook full final approach or tof, mof, bof, come on, raise your hands. Sharp marketers aren't here. So this is a perfect example on how to take acquisition audiences and push them down the funnel, make them, turn them into re-engagement audiences. And of course, like stated before, reels do perform also in lower uh, stages of the funnel and with hardcore performance campaigns. So now that we all agree that reels are an amazing feature, let's, have, uh, let's go over a couple of golden tips that always work. First of all, be creative. Remember, reels are a form of entertainment. Like Danny said before, if this is your usual news feed and this is Netflix, then reels are somewhere in the middle. Be creative and you will be rewarded for it by the algorithm. Keep your reels short and focused. If you remember in the beginning, I told you reels can last up to 90 seconds. Well, I lied. You can actually upload 15 minute long reels if you use the upload from device feature. But I wouldn't recommend though using 15 minute reels unless you have to. Keep them short and focused, have a strong hook in the beginning and they will be more effective. Add sound and effects. Not, no, not, no need to add uh, too much uh, to that. It makes your reel more interesting. If you're using uh, organic uh, reels, you can also use trendy sounds to get extra virality. Use subtitles to make sure your message cuts through the silence, even if people watch with volume off. Use a clear call to action in the end of your reel, and or you can even use questions or even provocative questions to get extra engagement. Do you want to see me dance? Do you want to see me dance? <laughs> extra engagement. <laughs> All right, recycle content. First, recycling is good for the environment. So if you like Mother Nature, recycle. Second, you don't always have to shoot for new content. You can edit a clip from existing materials, a clip from here, a clip from there. Take a piece of sound from here, a little subtitle, and you've got a brand new piece of content. We've done this several times with our clients and it worked really well. Never delete a reel. While stories last 24 hours and usual posts tend to decay organically after a couple of hours or a couple of days, reels can actually explode even a couple of weeks after they have been uploaded. And less than most, probably one of the most important tips, uh, use AI with reels. So why is it so important? First, I want to make my shareholders happy and my company's stocks to rise, so I'm going to use the word AI for as many times as possible in this lecture. AI, AI, AI. Okay, better. Second, now looking strategically at the uh, digital, digital ecosystem in the last years, we see a clear trend. Algorithms get smarter and smarter. So this means there is a shift of weight. The two things that are the most important today and they will be even more important in the future are creative and analysis. So how can we leverage AI to, for our, uh, uh, to help us with creative and analysis? Just a few ideas. Um, one, you can use uh, visual uh, AI to generate uh, eye-catching visuals and integrate, integrate them with your uh, reels or even video AI. Um, second, use a chat, uh, an AI chat, educate it about your business, and then ask him to give you 300 ideas for, my, for scri or scripts for my next Reels production. That's a heck of a um, creative power-up to your team. And third, analysis. Tools like Magic can help you get amazing insights. Now, with better insights, you get better decisions. With better decisions, you get better results. And of course, uh, with Magix, you can also automate your campaigns, which I highly recommend if you're running campaigns at scale. So, for conclusion, Reels, the awareness monster, are the most discoverable form of content on the biggest social network today. They are a powerful tool to lower CPAs, generate awareness and reach new audiences. 
in a fun, in a creative, creative and engaging way. I strongly encourage you to use reels, both organic and paid, in your work. And I'm sure when while well, well you'll do so, you'll see they hold great value for you and for your business. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it.